So I'm gonna take us a story time of when a homeless man came and threatened me at the place that I worked with a knife. And it was very scary because the guy who owned the store didn't believe in hiring more than one person to work at once, so I was like this tiny girl being threatened by this homeless guy. Hey testies, and welcome back to your video. Before I get started, for some reason when I posted this commission, I just said clients GFX, so I don't know if they didn't want their name shared, I don't quite know. That being said though, thank you so much for your order, and if you guys do wanna get your GFX featured in my videos, make sure to order it in the description. Anyways, so I've talked about this a bit, but basically before I did YouTube, when I was first like starting my channel, before I started like making money on YouTube, I worked at like this like local like restaurant coffee shop kind of thing. I don't know. Basically the whole gist of it was it was like a food place for like rich people to go and shop, which not my demographic, but that's fine. Um, and basically I got a job there and I would make people coffee and I'd make them sandwiches and heat up pizzas, stuff like that, right? Now basically, um, the owner of this company, which is why I can't say any names, was a very like... I don't even know. I don't think they even know my videos. I don't think so. But like the owner was like very kind of like not very law abiding, if you know what I mean. Like he would like say like where I live, you're supposed to have two people working together at once, especially if you're a minor. Like I was not an adult um, and I was like really young and I also like barely weighed anything and was really small. And so like having a tiny kid work by themselves not really the best idea because what happens if you get robbed or if somebody comes in and starts a fight or there's a homeless person that comes in and creates issues right basically um the owner didn't believe in hiring two people to work at once because he didn't want to have to pay two people two different wages so he would just be like hey do you think maybe like you can like work alone and because i really wanted the owner to like like me and i wanted to show him that i was good at working and stuff like that i'm like yeah sure like no problem so basically for months i was a little kid and i was working at the store basically i would make people coffee and stuff like that and it was always like really stressful when like three people came in they're all asking for coffee because people get impatient because it's only you working and also like if someone argued with you was like causing a scene you didn't have any backup like there was wasn't really anything we could do there was like stores around us but like girl i'm not even kidding there was a bread store beside us and this girl in the bread store had so much beef with me for no reason it was constantly trying to steal my boyfriend which First of all, if you think you can steal my boyfriend, then go steal him. Like, I don't know. Like, my boyfriend should be loyal to me, right? But, like, it was just, like, so... I'll tell you guys that story later, because that girl was such a B-word. Like, oh my god. Anyways. So, like, it wasn't really an option to call my neighbors if something happened, because the girl over there just hated my guts for no reason. Keep in mind, she was, like, a 22-year-old woman who had beef with, like, a little kid. Like, just so bizarre. Anyways, I'll tell that story time another time, but basically, the whole thing with the store is that he didn't want to hire two people to work at once, so you were all the time basically just there, at risk of getting, like, robbed or, like stabbed or like whatever because the area also wasn't the best either like it was really close to like the inner city which is like kind of sketchy um but basically what ended up happening was i started noticing that as i was leaving the store there's this homicide that kind of followed me for a little bit and basically if you don't know at the store we kept getting break-ins of course you guys would know i don't know why i said that we kept getting like broken into for some reason like someone kept like robbing the store and so basically what would happen was the owner would tell me to take the tills filled with like hundreds of dollars put it in the back and hide it underneath the giant fridges that we had and then i was supposed to take an empty till that he had and put it in front of the door with a sign saying we don't have any money which naturally if somebody is leaving the store and they have an empty till in front of the door you would assume that they probably have the money on them which is probably why this homeless guy was always following me and like making weird comments to me it was like trying to like ask me for money but i was always just like act like i only spoke french because i know that's like the thing i do in any weird situation he like follow me and be like do you have any extra cash because he thought i had like the cash from like the cash register i guess and i just like start speaking french I'm like um do you come from hack it's good to d it's good to d and i just like make it sound like i just didn't speak any english and he just kind of leave me alone Anyways, basically one day I'm working and it's like late. It's like eight o'clock at night. It's dark outside and I'm like putting stuff away. I'm turning off the pizza ovens and stuff like that. And at the end of the day, we would put like the pizza knives and cutting boards on like one counter or basically we would just like wash them afterwards. So I was kind of moving everything so I could wash off the counter and the pizza boards and the knives for the pizzas were kind of off to the side, kind of where a customer could grab them, which seems my bad. And so basically I'm in the back, I'm washing dishes and I hear the door go ding, ding. I'm like, oh... I love it when people come in two minutes before we close. And so I go out ready to be like a teenager, like B word, right? And I see the homeless guy, which the whole neighborhood called him Smokey Joe. Um, I don't know why. That's just the name they gave him. I don't know. Um, and I walk out and he's like, I need to use your bathroom. I need to use your bathroom. I'm like, oh, sorry. Our bathroom's occupied. And he's like, who's in it? Who's in it? And he's like getting like kind of aggressive with me. And the only thing I can think at this time is to just say like, oh, like my coworker's in there. And he's like, oh, well, when he's out, I'm going to use it. I'm like, no, you're not. Because I kid you not, the Smokey Joe had gone to a bathroom before and he shat on the ground and then smeared it all over the walls. I'm not even kidding. This, this had happened before and thank God I didn't have to clean it up. But it happened when I, it was like my first day of training and he had been allowed to use the bathroom and he went in and like smeared poop all over the place. Like, what? Like, why, why do homeless people do that? Like, if you were not like smearing your poop everywhere, yes, you could use the bathroom. But now that you've done that, no. 
Anyways, so I tell him, like, no, you can't use the bathroom. And then he starts asking, "Good, well, can I have water? Can I have water, please? And I was told so many times by the store owner, do not give Smokey Joe water. Because if you do that, he's going to come back, he's going to come back, he's going to come back. And that's why we hadn't seen him in a while, because he would go and bug other people for water. And to be fair, you guys be like, oh, but he's just a homeless guy, give him water. No, because if you give Smokey Joe water, then he's going to ask for a sandwich. If you give him a sandwich, then he's going to ask you to the bathroom. Then he's going to cause a scene, then he won't leave. Like, the more attention you gave this guy, the longer he would spend in the store. And I'm sure there'll be some little kid in the comments like, um, you should be nice to everybody. It doesn't matter if they're homeless. Yeah, you're right. But Smokey Joe had a reputation for getting violent. And I'm also like a little girl who was like five foot like four at the time and weighed like 90 pounds. So I don't want to get murdered by Smokey Joe. I'm sorry. And so basically I'm like sitting there like, no, like, I'm sorry. Like, we can't help you. Like, I'm sorry. And I didn't know what to do really. So I just kind of take some more dishes to the back and start washing them. And keep in mind in the store, we don't have like a little like door thing to the back. Like you could just walk behind the counter and come back there. And so basically I'm washing dishes and I all of a sudden I hear somebody like kind of close to me. I'm like, oh my God. And I come out and he's behind the counter standing beside the pizza knives and the pizza cutting boards. And I didn't know his name. Like at the time, I didn't know like what his name was. I assumed his name must have been Smokey Joe, but I guess that was a nickname other people gave him. So I'm like, Smokey Joe, you can't be back here. He's like, Would you call me? That's not my name. My name is not Smokey Joe. And he starts like yelling at me. I'm like, Whoa! Well, like stop, stop. Like it's fine. You're fine. He's like getting upset with me, and he grabs the pizza knife and starts like shaking it in my face, being like, You don't call me that. My name is not Smokey Joe. And I'm like, Oh my god. Like what do I do? And so I'm like, Okay, then what is your name? He's like, And he just says some like name that like is definitely not his name. Like it's some woman name, right? And this guy obviously has mental health issues. Like, he's, like, not in his right mind. He's probably, like, on, like, some sort of, like, street drug or something. And he's, like, getting all upset with me. He's just walking close to me while shaking the knife in my face. I'm like, okay, like, the knife isn't necessarily that sharp. It's, like, a pizza knife that's so kind of, like, curved at the end. But, like, you should not be threatening a, a little kid with a pizza knife. Like, what are you doing? And so the only thing I think I can think of to do, which, like, I feel like this is a batting moment. But as he's, like, shaking this pizza knife in my face, I walk into the back of the store where there's kind of, like, a flipping, revolving door. There's no lock, by the way. I'm, like, if he comes after me, like, I'm screwed. Like, I don't have anywhere to hide. I go back to the sink that I was just cleaning stuff, and I take out the sharpest knife I can find that we'd use to cut, like, meat up and stuff. And I walk out of the back of the store. I'm, like, Smokey Joe, you need to leave. And I, like, hold up this giant knife, which is bigger than his knife. He's, like, what are you going to do, stab me? And I go, yeah, if it takes that. And he kind of like looks at me and his eyes get wide. And he's like, uh, uh, can I just have some water? And I'm like, no, you need to leave. And I, I felt like, like such a baddie. I'm like, oh my God, like, <laughs> I'm so cool. Um, and he kind of looks at me and he's like, oh, well, you're such a B word. And like calls me the B word. And he like throws a knife on the ground and starts walking. He's like, I'm never shopping here again. I'm never shopping here again. I'm going to tell everybody how bad your store is. I'm like, okay, you do that. Smokey Joe, you're not a customer anyways. You're coming in here trying to get free stuff. Go leave the store. And so as he's walking out, he's kind of like taking a sweet time. He's kind of like stopping by like little displays we have in the store. And I'm following this guy closely with this knife. I'm like, I was so scared. My whole body was shaking. But I'm like, this guy needs to leave because I need to go home. I need to close this door. I cannot leave unless this guy leaves. And none of my coworkers live near me. So I'm going to be screwed if this guy doesn't leave. And so I'm like following him close to the knife. And like, Smokey Joe, you got to go. You gotta go. And he's like stopping, look at Sam, just like, you gotta go. And he's like, oh my god, don't rush me, don't rush me, I'm browsing. I'm like, this is not time for browsing, the store is closed. And then he's like getting upset with me. I'm like, I'm just gonna call the police. And I pull up my phone, he's like, no, 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 it's fine. And then he opens the door and leaves. And I lock the door as soon as he leaves. And he turns around and knocks on the door and calls me a beeper again. <laughs> what? Like, I understand that you shouldn't be mean to people. And I get that. But also, this guy is like clearly like intoxicated on some sort of like item right like he's like obviously done something on the street he's not in his right mind he is definitely mentally ill and this guy had a reputation for going around to small businesses and like sitting inside the store and like just like terrorizing the people in there and he would deter business because he'd be sitting in front of like our store on like the patio furniture and if people saw a homeless guy sitting on the at the front of your store they wouldn't want to come in right so he'd deter business and stuff like that so it ended up being that the building that we were in ended up having to hire security and the security would go around and anytime Smokey Joe was anywhere near the building they would like tell him he had to leave and it was like kind of sad because like I feel bad because I think sometimes he was just looking for a place to sit but I'm sorry bro you threatened me with a pizza knife you can't do that and for those of you that are asking no I did not call the police because he left and I didn't want to be involved with that and I really just wanted to go home to play Animal Jam anyways um yeah, that's the story time of how a homeless guy threatened me with a pizza knife. And shortly after that happened, I told the owner about it because I'm like, maybe we should like tell like the, the like the building about this so that they know. Like Smokey Joe will try to like take weapons if you have them in clear view. And he said no, I wasn't allowed to tell anybody because then he'd get charged with some sort of employment fraction. I don't know, like because he was the employer and he's supposed to have two people working at once. And if we contacted the police or something, they'd ask, oh, well, where's your other coworker? And I'd say, oh, they weren't there. And then the owner, I guess, would get fined or something like that for creating an unsafe work environment. I don't know. Basically, he told me I shouldn't tell and I never did but god if I knew how crappy this employer would be later down the line I would have told I would have a hundred percent told anyways um if you guys paid for my video thank you so much for watching and I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day